Hi everyone! I am here to start a new book for us and this book is pretty short so we will probably finish it in a week. Um, it is called Freckle Juice by Judy Bloom, and this is actually one of my, one of the books I remember being my favorite um, when I was in third grade. So here's title page. So I'm going to read chapter one today. <clears throat> Andrew Marcus wanted freckles. Nikki Lane had freckles. He had about a million of them. They covered his face, his ears, and the back of his neck. Andrew didn't have any freckles. He had two warts on his finger, but they didn't do him any good at all. If he had freckles like Nikki, his mother would never know if his neck was dirty, so he wouldn't have to wash, and then he'd never be late for school. Andrew had plenty of time to look at Nikki's freckles. He sat right behind him in class. Once, he even tried to count them. But when he got to 86, Miss Kelly called, Andrew, are you paying attention? Yes, Miss Kelly, Andrew said. Good, Andrew. I'm glad to hear that. Now, will you please pick up your chair and join your reading group? We're all waiting for you. Andrew stood up in a hurry. His reading group giggled, especially Sharon. He couldn't stand that Sharon. She thought she knew everything. He picked up his chair and carried it to the corner where his reading group sat. You may begin, Andrew, Miss Kelly said. Page 64. Andrew turned the pages in his book. 64, 64. He couldn't find it. The pages stuck together. Why did Miss Kelly have to pick him? Everybody else already had their books open to the right page. Sharon kept giggling. She covered her mouth to keep in the noise. But Andrew knew what was going on. He finally found page 64. Right where it was supposed to be. Between pages 63 and 65. If he had his own freckles, he wouldn't have to count Nikki Lane's. Then he'd hear Miss Kelly when she called reading groups, and nobody would laugh at him. Later, when the bell rang, Andrew poked Nikki Lane. What do you want? Nikki asked, turning around. I was wondering about your freckles, Andrew said. Oh yeah? What about them? Andrew felt pretty stupid. Well, how did you get them? What do you mean, how? You get born with them. That's how. Andrew thought that's what Nikki would say. Some help he was. Line up, boys and girls, Miss Kelly said. Time to go home now. Sharon, you may lead the girls. Andrew, you may lead the boys. <clears throat> Some luck. Just when he got to be leader, he had to stand next to Sharon. When they were in line, Sharon whispered to Andrew, Psst, I know how to get them. How to get what? Andrew asked. Freckles, Sharon said. Who asked you? I heard you ask Nikki about hits. Sharon ran her tongue along her teeth. She was always doing that. Do you want to know how to get them? Sharon asked. Maybe, Andrew told her. It'll cost you 50 cents. I have a secret recipe for freckle juice, Sharon whispered. A secret recipe? Uh-huh. Sharon's tongue reminded Andrew of a frog catching flies. He wondered if Sharon ever got a mouthful of bugs the way she opened her mouth and wiggled her tongue around. Andrew inspected Sharon's face. You don't even have freckles, he said. Look close, Sharon said. I've got six on my nose. Big deal. A lot of good six will do. You can get as many as you want. Six was enough for me. It all depends on how much freckle juice you drink. Andrew didn't believe Sharon for a minute. Not one minute. 
There was no such thing as freckle juice. Andrew had never heard of it before. That is the end of chapter one. So make sure you answer the question below in Google Classroom and come back tomorrow for chapter two.